Hey Internet, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today I want to look at three guitars, just three guitars, um, that basically allow you to have humbucking tone, um, that rich, meaty sound, the sustain, the drive, the things that we look for in a humbucking equipped guitar um, from kind of traditional guitar makers under $400. So these are all under $399. Um, and what they give you is access to a guitar that, like I said, has the humbucking sound, but isn't from one of the guitars that's more kind of shreddy, maybe metal intended. Um, and in some cases it bridges the gap, but if you survey the guitar market for electric guitars and you look for something that has uh, humbuckers, usually you're going to be looking at something from Ibanez or ESP, LTD, um, Jackson, and those are all great guitars, but they have kind of a very specific uh, audience for them. And we've, we've reviewed those before. Um, this is three guitars that uh, offer you that in a more traditional uh, manner. So the first one we're going to be looking at is this guy from Epiphone. Um, and I'm not going to go over the specs in too great of detail for you. They're basically uh, bolt-on neck guitars uh, equipped with humbucking pickups. Um, and you can check out all the specs, of course, on our website by following the links below and reading all about that. But this is one of the most affordable Les Pauls that you can get um, that I would recommend you get. We'll put it that way. Uh, so this is from Epiphone. Uh, it's made in Indonesia, and it is a Epiphone Les Paul Studio LT. And what it's designed to be is a lot like what the uh, Gibson Les Paul Studio is, which is kind of a stripped down version of the Les Paul, giving you what you need and not what you don't. Okay. Um, and typical Les Paul fashion, it's a three-way toggle, two volume, two tone, two humbucking pickups with a stop uh, tail, uh, stop bar tailpiece and fixed uh, uh, bridge. You've got three on a side tuners and um, cool sunburst finish. It's available in a variety of finishes. What this kind of does to depart from it and keep the cost down is it has a bolt on neck, um, which is not typical of a uh, Les Paul and one of the other guitars we're going to be looking at. But what you do get is a great guitar in a great package. Feels real nice. Um, they call this a slim 60s taper. It's pretty flat. It's like a D shape. Um, it's not as thin as you'll find on some other guitars, um, but it's it's not too thick. It's a comfortable, albeit not as rounded, uh, shape. The fret works nice. There's no sharp frets. Um, it's pretty comfortable to play, and it's pretty eager to give you some of those sounds. And this kind of the guitar is something I've been seeing since I was in high school. Um, you know, if you ever were in a band in high school, uh, you know, at least for me in the 90s, it was stuff like this plugged into like a Zoom multi-effects pedal and some crate amp or something in a friend's garage. Um, and this will get you started. This will get you there. And it does it with a plum. So that's the first one that we're going to look at. Uh, so check out these sound clips and then compare it to the next one.
So that was the sound of the Epiphone Les Paul Studio LT. Goes for about $249, uh, running through uh, clean and dirty. Uh, the effects pedal we're using is a Fender Santa Ana Overdrive, which is one of their new effects, which is really awesome. We like it a lot. Multiple types of effects, boost, or multiple types of gain, I should say, through the overdrive and the boost as well. Uh, and we're running through this limited edition uh, Fiesta Red Pro Junior, which is an all-tube amp, uh, part of the Hot Rod series from Fender. If you're not familiar, that's a great platform uh, for pedals or for just driving a low wattage tube amp uh, to breaking up in the power stage. So really awesome. The next one we're gonna put through it is this guy. Uh, and this is a Gretsch Jet Club. Uh, these have been out for a bit and they have gone through some revisions. This is the latest version. It's available in three colors. You can get it in black, silver, or this awesome Firebird Red. Um, Gretsch, you know, they, always do things a little bit differently, and this is no exception. So what you have here is a short scale single cut guitar, a lot like the Epiphone we just saw. Um, the tuners are a little bit better, in my opinion. Um, and you've got these nice uh, kind of Chet style thumb marker inlays on the side. It is a bolt on neck affair, again, uh, like the last one. Nice proloid pick guard. It basically everything kind of looks a little nicer. It's got binding on it, it's a little thicker. One unique aspect about this guitar, and you should be able to hear it when I demonstrate it, is that um, it is chambered. So it's a basswood body chambered with an arched laminate maple top on it. And despite the fact that these are humbucking pickups, these are not Filtertron pickups, um, Gretsch just calls them humbucking pickups, these have a bit of a throatier sound to them. Uh, there's not as much high end, there's more of a mid-range bump, and that is synonymous with something that's chambered or semi-hollow. Um, that's how it affects the tone of the guitar. And so that's the same here. Uh, otherwise, it's a, it's a simplified uh, control layout. So we've got a single volume, a single tone, um, and then a three-way toggle switch uh, on this Rock Beast. So for $299, this Electromatic Jet Club is a fantastic bargain. Um, and again, it's, some, it's a humbucking, kind of rock-ready, affordable guitar from a more traditional brand, Gretsch Guitars. So let's put it through its paces, through the Santa Ana Pro Junior, see what it sounds like.
All right, so the last one we're going to look at is a Stratocaster. Of course it's a Stratocaster, right? So the Stratocaster, while it was born as a double cutaway, bolt-on neck, three single coil pickup guitar, um, it hasn't stayed that way. It's, it's proven to be a great platform uh, for modification. And a long time ago, people started shoving humbuckers into these guitars, and then Fender has offered it over the years in different configurations, an HSS, an HSH, or dual humbuckers, which is less common. Uh, this is one of the part of the new line from Squire. Uh, this is the Contemporary series. So it came out last year, and it's got strats, and it's got Telecasters in it, um, and basses and all sorts of stuff in that lineup, uh, Jazz Masters offsets. So what's cool about this guitar, you get in some nice colors. In this case, it's kind of like a metallic candy apple red, matching painted headstock, hard rock maple neck, and just kind of no nonsense, all about business setup, right? Dual humbucking pickups, Zebra, because it looks awesome with the white pick guard and the red or the black version of this or the white version of this. There's an HSS version uh, in blue, pretty cool. And it's a, just a three-way toggle, single volume, single tone, kind of like the Gretsch that we just saw. Um, so you do have a tremolo on this. The tuners are, you know, Squire tuners. Um, it plays really well, it sounds really great. What I will say about all of these guitars, before I put this through its paces, is that uh, they will all benefit from a setup. So if you're buying this guitar, um, you know, you're saving a lot of money on getting a very good quality instrument at a lower price, maybe pay a little extra and set it up and you'll be amazed at how much better it plays and stays in tune and whatnot. But this guitar I have found out of the bunch to be the most eager to really give you the girth, really give you the gristle uh, when you spank it a bit with some overdrive. So let's let you hear what it sounds like. All right, so those are the sound uh, demonstrations of these guitars. I'm going to give you some quick pros and cons of each one to help you make a buying choice as you scour the internet and go to our website and look at the pictures and the specs and all that stuff. On the Epiphone, the pros of this guitar is that it is an affordable, solidly made guitar that will give you what you need and nothing else. Uh, it's not full of a bunch of fluff. Uh, it's not bound. 
Um, it's very plain. Um, and because of that, you save a lot of money. It's $249, so under 300 bucks for this thing. But it plays really, really well. Um, the setup on this is actually pretty good out of the box. And like I said, it's comfortable. There's no sharp frets, uh, anything like that, that would detract from uh, the playing experience of the guitar. It's also very light, uh, given that it's you know, a Les Paul, which are known for being heavy. Uh, the, the only con I'm gonna give it is the tuners seem a little, hmm. I mean, they're okay, they hold tuning. They're just not as smooth, which is kind of what you'd expect in this price. So those are my pros and cons for this guitar. Let's check out the Gretsch. So on the Gretsch, I'm having trouble coming up with anything that I don't like about it. Um, it's a really well-made guitar. All of the, the lines are perfect. Fit and finish is fantastic. I, I can't see anything wrong with the finish, nothing wrong with the binding, nothing wrong with the setup. Um, even the tuners are pretty good. They, they're, they're better than the other two, and I don't know who's manufacturing them. You know, they're some company in the Far East, of course, but um, they, they feel smoother. They're not as high a ratio as a more expensive guitar is gonna have. So you're not gonna get that fine tune adjustment, but it does a really good job. Probably the only thing I'll say is, um, and, and this isn't actually anything that's wrong with the guitar, I think it'd be cool if it was a set neck, but then it would cost more, and there is a jet that's already like that, that does cost more. Um, and it doesn't really take away from the sound of the guitar at all. Um, so, you know, I'm just probably being a baby about it. Uh, but it's a very cool guitar um, and a huge value at $299 currently. So, um, yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Gretsch is awesome. Okay, so that brings us to the Strat. And I love Strats. I own, I'm not gonna tell you how many I own. I, I like Strats. Um, so it feels great. The neck's rock solid. Uh, the setup is good on it. Uh, the pickups sound great. Maybe the knobs could be upgraded. They're not really, there's nothing really wrong with them. They just kind of, you know, I don't know. They, they look fine, actually. Um, yeah, probably the tuners again. That's going to be the biggest complaint I'll ever have in, a, in kind of this price range. Um, and that's really not to say they're bad tuners, that's just to say they're not as good as tuners on an $800 guitar or a $1,000 guitar, which you'd kind of expect, right? But everything else is, is fantastic. Um, you know, even the setup with the, the tremolo on this guitar, where I would normally say don't even touch it, it'll go out of tune, this one actually stays in tune. Um, so, again, it's really hard to find anything wrong with it. This is the most expensive of the bunch. Uh, it's $350 roughly, but that's really inexpensive in the long run. And the fact that you can get such a good guitar for, for that nowadays uh, with these great finishes, the matching painted headstock is just cool. It's not traditional, but this guitar is not supposed to be, and I dig it. So there you go. There's a lot of pros and not much cons. Uh, if you grab these and, and upgrade any of the tuners on them, you're gonna have an amazing guitar. So all fantastic platforms for what you're gonna do. And at this price point, it's hard to find a better, more traditional styled humbucking guitar. So. I hope that helps. I hope you find that compelling. Uh, let us know below. Tell us your comments on these. If you own one, what your experience has been, or if you're shopping for one, go to our website at alabomusic.com. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, ring my bell. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching our videos. If you enjoy what we're putting out, help support this channel uh, by going uh, down below and purchasing one of the t-shirts we've made for you. Uh, rock your support for one of the oldest music stores in Texas and the country and your love of guitar. Just purchase below, help support our videos, and go to our website, alamomusic.com, for more goodies that you can get. Thanks.